Hi everyone and welcome to a new episode of Flying Simon uh, where today we start really strange because I'm here totally alone obviously due to the the, the crisis and we have to keep our distances and that's exactly what I'm doing but the weather is buzzing so it's very strange to see this airfield being so empty however with keeping the distance I couldn't withstand to show you what is inside this beautiful trailer So what glider is this then? Well, you'll find out in just a few moments, uh, but it was the glider that was going to fly all season and now the season is starting in such a strange way. Uh, there's only one competition left that I was supposed to fly and that hasn't been cancelled yet. So um, I, I'm keeping my fingers crossed, hoping that that will still continue. Uh, but this was the glider I'm going to, I was going to fly this whole year. Now, luckily I think I'll have plenty of opportunities to fly it, maybe next season or, uh, or not in competitions, but it's still quite a bummer. But in this video, I'm showing you what glider it is, uh, what features it has, why am I flying it in the first place, because it's not mine. And uh, before we can do that, I have to uh, at least get the fuse in our chat. So let's do that. So you've probably seen it by now, but that is an LS4. And to be precise, it's the Alpha Uniform, the one of the two LS4s of the Dutch Junior Gliding Team. And with this one, I'm preparing for the Junior Worlds in uh, Czech Republic in club class. So uh, it's a wonderful glider. So let's take a look at it. So first, the call sign. Why is it called Alpha Uniform? Uh, well, there's a twin brother, also an LS4, and that one has call sign Alpha Golf. And if you have uh, some scientific background, you know that that uh, in the periodic system stands for silver and gold. And hopefully we hope to achieve that with our gliders as well. Uh, furthermore, you notice the Dutch flag here and the Dutch junior team uh, logo here. Uh, we had to place these stickers on there because it's a, it's a Swiss glider and there's a Swiss flag beneath those stickers and uh, unfortunately you can't fly with the Swiss flag so we already have the Dutch registration so you have to cover the Swiss flag. Now in due course we will replace that sticker and hopefully also remove the Swiss flag so it will be uh, all white as you can see this sort of two source of white here but that will be uh, fixed in, in due course. So why am I flying this glider? Well, it certainly isn't my glider, so you can be sure of that. Uh, but luckily I get to fly it. It's because I'm part of the Dutch Junior Gliding Team. Uh, we sort of get to fly these wonderful LS4s. And the story of how we got those is quite an extraordinary story. And uh, I'm, I'm not able to tell you that only in just vi this video, uh, but basically, the Netherlands isn't so big and so um, uh, we can't simply have uh, a big fleet of gliders. But luckily, because there's some few generous people we still get to fly these gliders now there used to be two cirruses you've seen one of these cirruses before in one of my videos uh, and now they've been replaced with these wonderful LS4s so I'm going to show you some more cockpit features that we have now we have some very generous sponsors let's oh this is very precarious here in the LS4A so this is something I've noticed which is quite difficult we have an LS4B in our club this is a, an A or, or a normal one and to open the canopy, that's quite precarious. So there's a trick, you have to use two hands and only then it won't slip away, but still it's quite scary. So let's take a look at the cockpit then. Um, I think the panel here is amazing. We've all reworked this. So uh, as you can see, the whole panel has been replaced, uh, been fit to this new one. I think it really has the layout everyone uh, wants these days. And uh, luckily, because of our sponsors, Glider Pilot Shop, we now have this wonderful LX9000, also with the stick integrated controls. So uh, that should be fun to fly. Furthermore, I would say it's a basic cockpit. It's just like uh, you would expect in an LS4. Um, the fur coat, that's quite nice. But uh, yeah, really looking forward to spend some hours in here. So that's everything I wanted to say. Uh, this is the LS4, I hope you like it. 
Uh, let me know if you have ever flown an LS4. Maybe you have one at your club. Uh, let me know what you would like to see next with this LS4. And uh, let's keep our fingers crossed that, that it will be flying very, very soon. Uh, make sure to like this video. Make sure to subscribe as well so that you can see more of my videos. And I'll see you in the next one.